What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an extension that allows you to calculate cuts and fills in your terrains in SketchUp. So before I get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. Um, this week, I wanna say a big thank you to my newest supporters, Gil Flores, Ange Garcia, Charles Donald Model, Peter Kozak, Christina Orochova and William Letty. So one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So um, if that's something you're interested in, you want to support the show and maybe vote on the extensions that I'm going to cover every week, um, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, cut and fill, plugin developer, TIG. Plugin cost, $20. Note that Sketchucation Premium members get a 20% discount on this value. Where can you get it? You can download it from the Sketchucation Extension Warehouse or by following the link in the notes down below. Tool Functions This extension is designed to calculate the difference between two terrains in SketchUp, allowing you to calculate earthwork cuts and fills between an existing and a proposed set of contours. Probably the biggest thing when working with this extension is making sure that the groups are solids and that they're grouped and labeled properly. Basically, when you create your meshes, you're going to need to make them both, both into solids, which is made easy by the built-in skirt creator. This will add a skirt down below your mesh in order to help you easily make these into solids. So setup is very important with this extension. You need to make sure that your existing terrain you need to make sure that your existing terrain group is labeled EXTG for existing in the outliner, and the skirts have to share a common edge. It really makes sense for these to just take up the same amount of space in your model in order for this calculation to happen. Once you get all of this set up properly, select both groups and select the option for calculate cut and fill. You can set both your volume units as well as the number of decimal places this rounds to. What this will do is this generates a new group with your cuts being green and your fills being red. The extension also generates a note showing your total cut, total fill, and your overall total. This extension comes with a comprehensive help file to help you get started as well. Overall, this is a very simple extension, but it's very powerful for what you're trying to do. It gives you an idea of where you're gonna have to cut, where you're gonna have to fill, and overall values of dirt in your model. One thing to note is with larger meshes, this extension will take longer to calculate, so just be aware and try to minimize the size of the meshes that you're calculating as much as possible. Um, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Is this an extension that you're interested in? Have you thought about doing cut fill calculations with SketchUp? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.